Hello and welcome to Z News. I am in the UK at the Mahindra Racing Facility, and with me is a very special guest. He's Mr. Frederick, who is the team principal of Mahindra Racing. Frederick, welcome to Z News. Now, oh, welcome to you here in uh, Mahindra Racing. We are happy to host you here. Thank you very much. So, I'll start by asking you how has been your experience with the Mahindra Racing, right from your journey with the FIA to the other side of the table with the racing team. Yeah, I don't know if I joined the, 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 the bright side or the dark side of the four, joining a team, but the experience has been so far uh, really exciting. Uh, it's, um, it's in a way comfortable to know so much about the championship and, and move to the other side and start to compete into that championship. But on the other side, it's a lot of additional challenges which are coming, right. a lot of expectation. So it's a great feeling, but a lot of challenges ahead and a lot of pressure, but very exciting. Right. So, uh, to all our viewers who don't know the difference between Formula 1 and the Formula E, if you can just summarize it uh, quickly, what is Formula 1 and how different is Formula E from the Formula 1? Oof. Simply, I would say, it's the same one with uh, ICE and the other one with an electric powertrain. Right. But in general, I think the two sports are having one common DNA. It's high level and highest possible level motorsport within the technology, one with ACE and the other one with uh, with electric powertrains. But then there are plenty of differences and, and the particularities of Formula E and what makes the force of Formula E is that the DNA of that championship was based on bringing racing to people. It means showcasing in cities what electric cars can do, how fancy, how nice, how fast, how performant they can be. Uh, and the second part, which I think is very important, is that everything is done in the most sustainable way, right. in the most responsible way, from the development of the car to the way to organize the championship, to the way to create the logistics around, to the way the teams are managed, because we are all certified by the FIA with a three-star system okay. uh, on, on the sustainability aspect. So that, that's the championship which has put at the heart of its organization sustainability and responsibility, but which wants to promote how fancy and fast and performant electric cars can be, and this in the best possible place for creating the show in city centers. If you can uh, tell me about the Mahindra Racing car, the gentry that is uh, in the circuit right now, and also the drivers with the Mahindra e team. So the, the team right now is participating in the ninth season of the championship, okay. uh, and this season will end uh, end of July in okay. London. So we still have in front of us three events. The next one coming in one week, which will be Portland in the USA, and then home and then London. Um, this season <coughs> was the first season of a car which we call Gen 3, okay. which is more or less the third evolution uh, of, the, of the championship car. And, and this car is much lighter, is much faster, is more agile. So it creates races which are much more entertaining than before. Even if already we had a good show, now the show is really getting a, a very important and interesting level. Um, on the Mahindra racing side, it's a transition year. Uh, we, we have to learn uh, this car first. We know that we are not exactly where we would have liked to be in terms of performances. So we need to develop more on the hardware side, understanding how we can improve, but also on the software, also on how we create a team which is better prepared to come to races, have a better way of managing the races themselves, and at the end get better results. So the good thing is that this year we are able to do good races and recover a lot of positions during the races, but we don't qualify good enough. So we need to improve qualifying, and if we run, run the same type of races, we will probably be able to perform more at the end of the races. That's the goal for the end of the season, to score more points, but also, and in particular, for season 10, so the next one, which will start at the end of this year, end of 23, beginning of 24. Uh, definitely, we want to be able in that season to show that we have done a step in performance, be more regularly able to access to uh, the, the duel in, in, uh, in the qualifying format, but also more to uh, the points area for the end of the races. So that's the goal. It's an ambitious one uh, in some ways when we see the level of the competitors, but it's a realistic one when we see the forces we have now in the house. Lastly, the India-UK automotive corridor is a big one. Uh, the company is Indian company, but you are based out of UK. So how does it help uh, uh, for a team like Formula E team to be in UK? I think w the very important part of being in the UK is that you are in the motorsport culture. It's really a strong country for motorsport. I'm French. Uh, and I also come to UK. I would say it's, right. it's a very important place for that. 
um, that helps in terms of finding the right guys to join the team. That helps to be in in that culture and 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 that way of thinking. Because being part of a motorsport team is not only having the right skills, it's also having the right spirit. Be a competitor. Be able to push your limits and your boundaries, not to stay in your comfort zone. This is all part of the package you want and you come and get in the UK through the engineers, through the mechanics, through the different people who are really trained into the motorsport world and, and have this part of their DNA. So that's important. But what is also interesting is that you can attract here a lot of people from all over the world because they also want to be part of that motorsport world. So that's the key part. Thank you for talking to Z News. Pleasure. It was a pleasure to have you and hope you enjoyed the experience in Mindra Racing. Thank you very much.